Alright, so regarding the reinforced dinosaur pelt, we got it. We got it from Big Game Hunter. We just finished doing this one, and now we got it. Now we can upgrade it. And regarding how many I did, I did about a hundred, like a hundred, like a hundred plus. Cause I upgraded my, you know, the box, like the, the box traps, like he can upgrade it faster. And now I'm at 55 points. So 50 and 55, that's 105. So around then I got it. All right. So this is going to be a guide for big game hunter. Regarding what you need for Big Game Hunter, you know, it, it goes by the following. Because woodcutting is an essential part of Big Game Hunter, so I would say bring the woodcutting outfit is going to make it easier for you. So, you know, the Nature Sentinel whole outfit. You know, you could bring the, you could bring a ring if you want. And a crystal hatchet, that's a definite must, or or the best woodcutting hatchet you got. A mobile feet switch, so you know the Excalibur with mobile on it. A Grace of the Elves, because the Saren Spirits do come in here, and, you know, that's extra money. And if you got the Slayer Cape, or the Slayer of Master Cape specifically, it, it allows you to teleport to the people that you need to go to. Especially Lania Kia, because she's the main one that we gotta go to. Because she gives an easier access to one of the dinosaurs. Regarding what to bring, there's no combat and you don't lose any HP. But the rewards, specifically why people do it, because I know I'm doing it, is to upgrade your Anachronia base. So, the reinforced dinosaur pelt is really what you're gonna be doing Dinos Big Game Hunter for. And you can also gain some of the the dinosaurs as pets, you know, for your player on farms, and it's really good too. You know, you could bring a statue collection bag because, you know, if you didn't already make your statues, like, you know, for Rhiannon, the gold statue, for the golden rocks, and the Darmok, for the regular statue, you can also bring it, save some space. Magic note paper, I would really recommend bringing because it drops a lot of bones, and it drops a lot of, like, you know, the meat for different ones so it'll be easier just to carry it regarding the auras eh, you can bring or you can use the lumberjack i think that's pretty much the only real one that you're going to use because on your crystal hatchet you're most likely going to have hone six and refine four so it'll maintain the resource so, yeah, lumberjack it'll it'll make the wood the uh, wood cutting a lot easier. Other than that, you know, door of an instinct, get some chest, magical chest, help you out a little bit. Regarding the levels, I'm going to show on screen. All right, so regarding the reward shop, you would talk to or Winston and for all the marks that you get you can start getting better things. So the main thing that I would say when you get used to doing this is the quick traps. It'll increase the speed which you bait, which you build and armor them by 30%. So it wouldn't take as long as when you first start out. Oh yeah, before we get into the locations of the dinosaurs, we got to talk about the bait box. So from the lodestone, just head over here next to the lectern and you'll see this bait box. So the main thing about this is that it has variety of bait that you have to lure the dinosaur with. So it'll go like this. All right, so regarding the first three dinosaurs, you're gonna need shark, manta rays, and sailfish. You can keep cycling through these three because you know, they're the easiest to get because you, if you go through the GE, you'll just buy them. And if you want Iron Man, you gotta go fish it. That's that's your prerogative, but it is what it is. So, like, for me, I go through three these three first. Like, I try to go through all of them till, like, I get really low. And then you go into the dinosaurs meet. Which is, when you get from these three, it equals these three. And then it continues on. So, the main thing is, when you get 
your raw sharks, manta rays, and sailfish, it'll look like this when you deposit it. Alright, so regarding whether it's noted or it's actually not noted, it doesn't matter. So when you put it in the chest, it's going to look like this. You would just open it up, there's a deposit all, and they'll all go in. So once that happens, let's go see how it looks like. You know, most likely, I wouldn't recommend doing this until you have the Orphan Teleportation Device unlocked. So if you have it already unlocked, which you should, go to the Crypt for the first dinosaur. Go all the way over there. You know, from the Crypt, head all the way south. And then head a little bit more south. And then you'll be here. And this is going to be for the first dinosaur. The arcane. Right, so here it is for low for reference. It'll be right here. And you're gonna need level 75 hunter and 55 slayer. And for the bait, you're gonna need a raw shark. Alright, so re regarding the second dinosaur that you're able to do, you'll just teleport to the ritual site. Fast travel over there. You'll exit the stairs out of here. And then you'll head all the way west. Right, so when, once you're out of here, go west. Right, you'll see this other dinosaur here, but that's the next one in the order. So yeah, once you're out of here, you'll climb, you'll traverse this cliff face. Once you're up here. And then you'll see the Bagrata. And you see how big it is? Oh yeah, we getting big boy Rexes. Alright, and that's how you get here. And for the next one in the chain, so from the Bagrata Rex, you know, since we already just passed it, using the, the teleport to get over here, you'll just climb all the way back down. And then you'll see the next one on the list, which is right here. Right? So they go in order, which is pretty smart. So it's one, and then two, and then three, and then four will be over here. So what it will look like, it will just be like this. So from this one, you would just climb over. And you'll just surge over here for the next one. Now here goes the next one right here. Right? And let's go, go to the next one. And regarding for the references, it's going to look like that. So where we were just at, skim tops, and now we're over here by the spaghetti. Right? So the next one's going to be over here. Yeah, let's head over there. Alright, so you remember what I said about the Slayer Cape? So you would activate it and go to Lania Kia. So you'll see her run down to the north. You know, surge, let it dive it. You'll pass the Ripper dinosaurs. Right? Head all the way west and go north. You'll pass all this. Aw, oh, messed up. Right, so you just continue down. And then you'll start to see the lamp in Flores. So after that, just continue down. Head east. And then here you'll start to see the next dinosaur on the list. Alright, so here he is. And this is where it is. This is for reference. And regarding when you get to the latter dinosaurs, it's going to start requiring different bait. So instead of the, the shark, the manta rays, and the sailfish, they're going to start demanding different things. So this one is going to start re requiring raw arcane. So if you remember what that is, that's literally going to be the first dinosaur that you had done. So it starts going into the dinosaur bait versus the regular fish. 
Alright, so let's go to the next one. Alright, so from this one, to get to the next one, you will come over here. You'll pass through this. Go through here. You'll run through. You'll traverse over this. And you'll keep going. Right? So once you're here, run up this little hill. And you're also going to need agility, so... Most likely, if you're doing this, you got agility, so... You will jump across the sunken column. And here you are at the next the dinosaur, right here. And there he is. And how to get to the next one in the chain. You'll jump... You'll cross these vines. So from that dinosaur, head all the way north, cross the vines. Come over here. Cross these vines over here. Cross the vines again. Alright. Traverse these roots. And then you'll see Irby Werby. So if you remember where Irby Werby is, this is where it is. So what you can do is run all the way down. So when you're all the way down here, continue through, and then you're able to run out. Alright, so once you're here, we're able to run down, and here you are. You're at the next dinosaur. And here it is for reference. So we went from this one right here, traversed all this, went around, and then came right here. And this is it for reference. The Pavasaurus, and that's over here. So from this one, you'll just continue through. And for reference, we gotta go through that. Alright, so we'll just continue down. We'll continue along. Head west. And it's gonna be right here. Here we are. And regarding the last three dinosaurs that they dropped the Pterosaur Maw, which is... It's big boy weapons for melee. And to get to the last dinosaur, you would see the Pavasaurus Rex, and you would just go south from there. And it'll be literally next door. So it'll be right here. And then you'll see the next one. And this is the last one right here. And regarding the instance, I'm going to show you how it looks. Alright, so regarding how Big Game Hunter looks when you start it, this is what it is. Have your required bait. So we're going to start at the Pavasaurus Rex. This is what it's going to look like. So we get our required bait. And you'll see the start encounter pad right here. So it'll say you want to do it. Let's get it. So what you really got to do is it, super simple. As soon as you see the... The dinosaur, it'll have a big ring around it. So the main thing is you don't want to get caught. So you see this grass, you can hide in the grass. And once it once it's out of, out of its range, or out of, once you're out of its range, you can go back. So the main thing what I do is I gather a lot of wood. Because you're going to need a lot of wood. Because you got to make wooden spears. So let's just get through this first. So yeah, you just gather a lot of wood so you see I was coming back and when it roars the ring goes away and it'll spin back like you know reverse, reverse, reverse. reverse. or you know the uno card <laughs> but anyways so yeah you would make 
a good amount of spears. Well, you need three specifically. So make three spears and then just keep cutting wood because you need wood also to make the weapons and also the middle platform. So once you got enough wood, right? You can start going for these vines. And the main thing about these frogs is that you need to find out what the dinosaur's weakness is. So there's three types. And if you use the reinforced dinosaur pelt, it'll knock it to two. I didn't do it yet. So I gotta get I gotta get into that. So yeah, once you have three vines at least, you can start building the weapons for it. Right, so I'm gonna try two reds. And I'm gonna try a blue. And we're gonna see if it works. We're gonna test what the weakness is. And if neither of them does 30,000, which is the max, then we know the, the other one is its max. All right, so once it's built, you'll arm it with the, the spear you just made, and then you'll just continue along. All right, you'll just build this one. All right? And if you have two different other ones, it'll give you a selection screen. And if you only have one, it'll just do it as is. It'll automatically build it. Alright, so just build it. Arm it. And we're gonna see. Because nine times out of ten, you're gonna have to do it twice. So that's usually the thing. Alright, so once it's built, bait it. And here we go. And this is what the little cutscene looks like. So he'll eat it, and then he'll get attacked. Alright, so neither of those was his, is his weakness. Alright, so we gotta do it one more time. So, by deduction, we know it's yellow. So we gotta get yellow. Right? So since it has 52,000 and the max damage it does is 30, so we can we can leave these two without building the next one. Alright, so you'll just extract the poison. You'll get these two yellow ones. Right? And when you first look at this, you're gonna be like, how is it moving so fast? Well, there's a little upgrade when you get 50 big game hunters done and it'll say you'll you'll uh, make the traps 30% faster so that's how it looks so fast and that's a well worth upgrade all right so once it's done and if you didn't build them all it'll say are you sure and they'd be like yeah all right so this is what it looks like when you fully do it and it'll be the same repeated poison throughout. Like, once you figure it out, it'll be through it until it it hides, quote-unquote. Actually, that's what it looks like. And then, you know, after that, you'll just surge over. And then you'll skin it. And when you skin it, you'll see what I mean with the... Uh, <laughs> the magic note paper. So yeah, magic note paper, magic note paper. And that's really it. That's really how you do big game hunter. You just keep repeating it until you get what you need. Alright, hit that like hit that like and subscribe if if that helped. Alright, so regarding big game hunter, it has a chance to spawn two or three. So this is what it looks like when you have two of them spawned. And the last thing to mention once you get your reinforced dinosaur pelt from Big Game Hunter is you can upgrade the Hunter Lodge. And it'll remove one type of frog at the start of each Big Game Hunter event. So, that's it. Alright, so now that we have enough resources, we can finally use the reinforced dinosaur pelt. And we're going to create the Hunter Lodge.
Alright, so one type of frog is removed at each start of the big game hunter encounter. Alright, so here we go. Alright, now we got that upgraded. Now let's go see if that is true. Let's see if there's only two frogs now. Alright, so let's see if it's true. Nah, there really is only two. Alright, so it actually works. Alright, there we go.